Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make albondigas in your pressure cooker and stick around to the end because I'm going to be showing you a new way to enjoy your albondigas. To your bowl you want to add one pound of ground beef, one egg, one chopped green onion, one teaspoon of ground cumin, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, or you can use two tablespoons of long grain rice. For those of you that enjoy mint in your albondigas, this is a perfect time to add that. And we are also gonna add one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt. And now we're just gonna combine all our ingredients. Once you're done combining your ingredients, you're gonna start making your meatballs, your albondigas. make your meatballs the size of Rocky Mountain Oysters. Just kidding, the size of tennis balls. <laughs> the size of Death Side Balls. What size are these meatballs? These Those are, are the, size of, the size of my family's belly. Oh, sweet. Set your pressure cooker on saute and you're gonna add a drizzle of your favorite oil. Today I'm using olive oil and that's about one tablespoon that I'm using. Next, you're gonna add your chopped onions, tomato, and your garlic. And we are gonna saute until they're nice and soft. I've sauteed our ingredients for about five minutes. They're nice and soft, and to add a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of tomato sauce. Oh, your boyfriend's honking at you, Kyle. Embarrassing. <laughs> Combine all the ingredients and saute for another minute. And next, you want to add your water, chicken bouillon, and for those of you that prefer fresh chicken broth, you can just add your fresh chicken broth at this moment. Add your potatoes. We're going to add our chopped carrots, Anaheim zucchinis, and a little bunch of cilantro. And you know, if I don't say cilantro that way, it doesn't taste the same. <laughs> it tastes bitter. <laughs> really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it has jokes today. Give that a quick mix, and now we're gonna start adding our albondigas, our meatballs. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Do you add the stem because it retains more flavor? It's more flavorful? Wait. I like to add the stem because I have a family member that likes to chew it. And that is your daughter. That's correct. <laughs> and then uh, also it, it adds a lot more flavor and I like to, to use all my ingredients. If you're watching this, babe, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday break with your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> with her mamita. And now it's time to seal the deal. Seal the vent. And we are going to pressure cook for eight minutes. You know, I have noticed that with the newer edition of the Instant Pots, I do have to shake the top a little bit to seal properly. So if you have to do that, just stay there and we're gonna make it happen. After eight minutes, you wanna do a quick release. I'm gonna place the bolillos in the air fryer and luckily this stove, this cooktop, has an air fryer and I'm just gonna do that for a few minutes so that I can get a little bit of the outer parts a little bit more crispy like when they are freshly baked Ooh. and for those of you that are uh, don't have access to an air fryer you guys can uh, bake them for just a few minutes at 350 degrees but keep an eye you don't want to burn them And while the pressure is releasing, we're gonna fill our bolillo with a little bit of mayonnaise. We're gonna add some jalapenos and escabeche. These are pickled jalapenos, the ones you get from the can. Add a few of the little carrots for flavor. Ooh, just let it fall in there. So good. And 
And we are ready to serve, amigos. And you just want to add a few of your meatballs straight down your bolillo. Who's ready for a bite? And for those of you that love queso fresco, you can add a little bit of queso fresco. I'm going to need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... Everybody enjoys their albondigas differently. We love it with rice. And today we are going to do it French dip style. We're going to dip our uh, torta de albondigas right into our broth and just indulge. Soak it up. Kind of like a torta en ahogada. I'm gonna get messy, so. Mmm. <laughs> it's so nice and juicy. I'm gonna give it another dip. Tortas salgadas are the best, aren't they? Yeah, I have a lot of our amigas asking me about the tortas salgadas and friends. Drown, drown your bolillo in here. It's amazing. Mm. It really depends on how you want to enjoy your torta. You can add some beans in here. You can, you know, a spoon with your veggies and your broth and take a bite. It's going to be up to you to make it comfortable for your home. But friends, make sure to tag me when you guys make this and let me know what you think. That's one juicy torta. <laughs> it's so juicy and I love it. And yes, I did crisp up my bolillo a little bit more in that air fryer <laughs> than I should have, but it's so, so good. Mm. You do want the bolillo to be a little bit drier, right? So it can soak up the broth. Yes, you do. Look away, it's gonna get dangerous today. You have a little bit of lipstick under your chin, but that's okay, it's fine, it's part of the look. Let it happen. <laughs> Look away. Look away. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope that you're having a lovely holiday season. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.